What's up, everybody? Justin David Carl, your life alchemist, alchemizelife.com, empowering people to transform and self actualize. Yup! It's Transformation Tuesday. Y'all know. <laughs> what do we do on Transformation Tuesday? We work on transforming ourselves. Why? Because that's what life is all about. It's about transforming for the better. We're going live on Instagram right now. I'll probably post this up on my Facebook page later, possibly YouTube if I ever get around to it. But uh, what up everybody joining from the Instagram world? Welcome aboard the Alchemized Life Show, where we uh, empower each other to transform and self-actualize. Yup, it's Transformation Tuesday. And I always like to talk about transformation on Tuesday. So, wanted to share a little something I learned today. Um, I've been doing a ton of studying on Stoicism, which is a Greek, originally Greek, and a Roman philosophy. Uh, I've really been working really hard to develop a philosophy of life. Um, personally, for myself, leveraging some of the ancient uh, philosophies of the world, including Stoicism, yoga, um, various religions and whatnot, to develop a personalized philosophy of life, to really empower me to live a life that is uh, reflective of my true, deep inner self. Now, why is this important? This is important because if you don't have a philosophy of life, and I mentioned this in a previous video last week, if you don't have a philosophy of life, you just kind of like flounder through life with no direction, no compass, and you're really at the whim of external circumstances. So instead of having an internal locus of control, meaning everything comes from within yourself, you're instead influenced by everything external, everything like social media, TV, all like the BS of the world, you get informed by that when you don't have an internal locus of control and when you don't have a philosophy of life. So this morning I was reading this awesome book, um, I'm trying to remember the title right now, I forget it, but it's, oh, How to Be a Stoic, uh, it was what it's called, it's How to Be uh, a Stoic in a Modern World. Super amazing book, um, and one thing I just wanted to teach and share, uh, because what you teach is teaching you, so one of the big reasons that I, I teach is because I'm trying to learn. So whatever I'm teaching, I'm like trying to learn it well enough that I can teach it to other people. So what I learned this uh, morning was that there's six core virtues in many of the major religions across the world, include, including Christianity, Buddhism, um, Taoism, Confucianism, Hinduism and a few others um, and I just wanted to reveal what those six core virtues were so the first one is courage the second one is uh, what is it I forgot her already <laughs> so I'm trying to remember these the first one is courage the second one is humanity uh, the third one is justice the fourth one is temperance the fifth one is wisdom and uh, the sixth one is transcendence so those are six core virtues um, basically they're desirable a virtue is a desirable characteristic um, so these are characteristics that we all uh, either do want to uh, have or strive to have or we probably should strive to have so real quick just what are those so the first one courage that's that's taking action um, and using your will in the face of opposition um, you know it can be physical courage but it can also be mental emotional and spiritual courage uh, so keep that in mind and you know we can all be courageous in different ways in life we don't have to go you know, play a sport or go to war or anything like that to be courageous. The second one, uh, humanity, that is uh, really
really befriend, befriending and tending to others. So that is actually cultivating uh, love and friendship uh, with others. So obviously a really good personal characteristic. Um, the third one, justice. Um, I'm not talking about a hardcore form of justice. I'm talking about justice in the sense of, and I, by hard, hardcore I mean like not like a judge judging, but justice of like doing what is right. Uh, so taking right action in everyday life and making right decisions. Um, the uh, fourth one, temperance. This is uh, this is self control. So having control, um, not 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 doing things in excess. Um, which this one's a really good one for me because I'm a bit of an extremist. So I tend to do things in excess. So temperance is like a big uh, core uh, virtue uh, challenge or growth area for myself. So it's super. Uh, super good because we actually create more freedom in our life when we uh, create constraints and control and moderation um, for example when I finally learned how to eat um, and I didn't just eat everything uh, I suddenly had massive freedom around the fitness of my body uh, so I achieved freedom of body, like I really uh, came into a level of freedom uh, that I'd never experienced before when I put a constraint around my eating. Um, now I still eat everything, I don't have any like hardcore restrictions, I just don't eat everything in one day. And that was my problem, is I would just eat too much food. So even like too much healthy food is not good for you. Um, the, uh, so, and this can apply to all areas of your life, you know, too much drinking is not good for you, uh, you know, too much work is not good for you, etc. So it's really moderation of excess. Uh, and super, super important uh, virtue, uh, temperance it, it is, I'm still coming to understand it and uh, embrace it and live it daily. Um, but it's super powerful, super liber liberating if you can um, cultivate it in your life. Uh, the next one is wisdom. So wisdom is super powerful virtue. And this virtue is powerful because it's the seeking and use of knowledge. Now obviously, seeking out knowledge, gaining knowledge, that creates more power in your life. And then to exercise that power, you actually have to use the knowledge. You can't just learn and not do. You have to learn and put into action. So wisdom, super powerful virtue uh, to cultivate in your life. And the last one, transcendence. Um, this is cultivating a connection with the greater universe, the greater world, um, and it's it's really about tying yourself to the bigger picture of your life, um, the bigger meaning of your life, and what it means to be uh, a human in this world. Um, so yeah, that's the six virtues that are found in almost every single major religion and philosophy throughout time and throughout the world. So in review, there is courage, humanity, justice, temperance, uh, wisdom, and number six, uh, transcendence. Y'all know I'm about that transcendence. Um, so anyways, that's it. That's my teaching for Transformation Tuesday. I gotta hop off because I'm about to meet up with a friend and uh, do a little more transforming. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Justin David Carl, your life alchemist, empowering people to transform and self-actualize. Yep! Check me out at alchemizelife.com. I do a lot of writing there or justindavidcarl.net because that's where you can find me on the net. I'll be back 
Yes, I will. I'm back going live, pumping up these go live muscles again. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, tons of material on my blog, tons of guides for fitness, for business, for money, for all areas of your life, relationships, whatever you got. I just wrote a birthday planning guide. So if you got a birthday coming up, go check that out. I've already had a ton of people telling me how powerful that has been for them. Anyways, follow me. Connect me with your tribe because I'm on a mission to alchemize together. Why? Because when we do this work together, it's so much faster and it's so much more fun. I'm Justin David Carl, your life alchemist. Peace out. One love. I'll be back.